I have finally decided a camo pattern that I'm gonna go with for an upper receiver that I don't like the texture of. I sent a message to many of you guys online and the one that kept coming back over and over again and the one that I'm really interested in is the Swedish M90. I'm gonna make my own template instead of buying some. There are some available online, but I'm gonna show you real easily how to do this with basically wax paper and some masking tape. I wasn't gonna do the uh, buttstock, but I went ahead and, and decided I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, buttstock, the um, upper receiver, and the hand guard here. And I'm gonna use pretty big splotches and blocks. And I'm using the um, layered method of basically making this template and um, putting on another layer, spray painting it. I will take you along this journey of getting this thing painted. I like to keep the parts in front of me that I'm gonna be painting um, on the table so I could get an idea on the size of the pattern that I'm gonna be using. All you do is grab you your wax paper here, tear that off there, and then you start putting on the masking tape. One final touch is to put low heat on this with your uh, with a blow dryer. Make sure that that tape is sealed on that wax paper really well. Then all you do is start drawing. Make sure you stay on the wax paper here. And the M90 is really just kind of a, a blocky pattern. It's really simple to do. I'm not gonna take time to do all this, but just give you an idea of what M90 looks like. Next thing you do is just start cutting them out. I've got my template separated by small, medium, and large, and I definitely cut more of these templates than I'll ever possibly need for this AR-15 project. The uh, M90 pattern is a very large, uh, blotchy, look so i'm not going to use a lot of these but my spray pattern is going to be to use the desert tan first or desert sand whatever they call that to cover the entire buttstock upper receiver and hand guard without any of the templates and once that dries i'll st start putting on um, a lot of the small a few of the medium and maybe one or two of the large and you got to think about this in reverse because once that desert tan gets sprayed first and you lay this template on there once you peel it back that's going to be revealed and since this is primarily a night gun i don't want a lot of that brightness revealed and so uh, once the desert tan is uh, dried i'll put the template on there i'll spray it with black i'll put even more of the templates and cover that up and then i'll do it again with the light green um, and this is the primary color for um, M90, but then again, since this is kind of a brighter color, I want that to be my final color, and I'll save my largest templates for the last spray. My favorite part of doing a camo job, what I like to call the big reveal. That looks so cool. Love it. Oh, that looks good. Let me know what you think about my M90 aesthetic project here. Please like and subscribe this video and stay tuned for my next adventure.